How's it going out there again, Commanders? Chesty Puller here, and an easy way to do the Iron Strike 70s um, with basically no loss. I think I took a few minutes of damage, uh, but normally I don't. And uh, what you do is pretty much come in here with your Banshees with Wingmen. I'm only using seven here. You can, the more wingmen, the better. <clears throat> but uh, I've done this with three or four before. If my others were busy somewhere else. Take out the tower. Be mindful that you have to stay away from the storm that's in the back there. So try to get the special forces to come out a little bit. You can't get them where they're standing. You have to get them to come out just a little bit. They were right on the edge of where they needed to be right there. Take out the other tower and then quickly come in and take out that uh, napalm and then get back out. Because if, if the wingmen fly forward and you sit there for a second, you're going to take damage because the uh, um, there's another new turret over there, um, an avalanche, and it'll get you if uh, with, the, with its splash damage. Next, uh, I bring in a, um, a dog. I didn't really need to bring in this second dog. Um, sometimes I come in from another angle, so I. But but in this case, I'm just going to come right down the middle. So this other dog is kind of a waste. It doesn't need to be done. And uh, he only took out one mine anyway, so he was kind of a waste. Then uh, I'll just start over here, um, so you can see the full amount of. Um, XP that you're going to get from doing one of these, and this is one of the main reasons that you might want to do this, max out your Kara. Uh, every time you do one of these, and you don't really take out all of the turrets, you just take out what you can, you get about three and a half million. There is another way where you can take out all the, the turrets on the other side. It's just quicker and easier for me to use my Titan. If you don't have a max level Titan, you might take quite a bit of damage there, so you can use a, um, um, a corpus uh, leader, a single leader to run up there with uh, charged ordnance on, and and he'll shoot the uh, I think it's called a fire cannon. On the other side over by the tower we'll take a look at it here in a second but any regular special forces will out range that uh, blitz that was right there so you're okay there bring your um, banshees back in over here and take out this CC take out the rocket launcher there I just took out the uh, power there to reduce uh, everything's uh, fire rate bring your Titan back in and uh, it's gonna come in in different areas depending on where your base is located this one came in all the way on the wrong side of the base but uh, um, so what I did here was uh, draw out that other group of special forces this is why I took damage it, it, normally I would not do this all in, in one attack or I would use two separate special forces so that I would take uh, instant repair but in this case uh, I'm just making a video so I, I did it all with uh, with one so that you can see the XP that you get here if you split it up and do one set of special forces with one platoon and another set with another platoon you will probably take instant repair now once the uh, anti-air over here is focusing on the Titan you can put your Banshees on the fist and they can take out everything else in another video I'll show you how to do the Sentinel 70s they are clearly uh, not as easy all you get out of them is reserves and uh, so it might be easier just to take out nine or ten uh, 35s because on the 35s you actually get a chance of getting a good special op but on the Sentinel 70s uh, you're more than likely going to take some damage and you get no special op and uh, so I'm not really quite sure that it's uh, worth it. I hope this was helpful to you. This is a good way to level your special forces up. Have a good one. Worth it. <laughs>